Okay guys, here we are. I've built this little uh, saw. It's got an electric motor, 220 volt. Uh, it's a compressor type motor. It's big, it's powerful, it's very quiet. I think it's only 60 decibel, which is <clears throat> about as quiet as you're going to get. Now, at my place, we live in kind of a rural area, four or five miles out of town and uh, in a place where the neighbors aren't right close to us. We have quite a bit of elbow room here, so I run chainsaws, and with any chainsaw, you're always going to have, uh, you know, gas, two-cycle oil, chain oil, chain tightening, and even replacing chains at times, and sharpening the chains. Of course, this will have to be sharpened, too, but not nearly as often as a chainsaw. Uh, this is not a carbide blade. It's just a 24-inch steel, I suppose they used to call them a buzzsaw blade. It's almost maintenance-free. There's really, really nothing except sharpening, and you, didn't, you wouldn't have to do that. You could take the blade off and take it to a sharpening shop, uh, the same kind of places that you'd take a table saw blade. They can sharpen it for you. Uh, but that's really the only maintenance involved. Now, I built this thing with a, um, <clears throat> a concept in mind as far as safety. I had read on a lot of the old forums about the old historic buzz saws. The old buzz saws were, there was no guards on the blade, a uh, tremendous amount of accidents. A lot of the older gentlemen were missing fingers and stuff that used those for any length of time. And a lot of horror story. What I've done is I've completely eliminated the danger by putting a wall, an actual, I don't know if this is 1 8 or 3 16 steel plate, just a large solid plate uh, between the operator and the blade with a little uh, window where you shove the log through and uh, so that there's, you're completely separated from the blade. That's, that was my concept. I felt that it would be 100% safe this way, quiet, it's maintenance free. So these are some things I thought of uh, just when I designed this. I built this uh, partition wall here to protect the operator. Uh, all the old horror stories of buzzsaws and accidents, I think we've eliminated that with this design. Giving you some ideas and showing you what I built. Kind of fun to run. I actually enjoy running this thing. It's, I got the same foot pedal design on the clamp, and I also have a hand clamp just for a extra stability. I don't like the log moving around when you're sawing, so this thing works really good.